Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I've got a couple of pre-routes here that have been made for UK supermarkets, and uh, one for M&S, one, um, one for Sainsbury's. So I'm going to uh, dig into them and uh, we'll see where we get to. Uh, first one, I'll, I'll do them in vintage order, although it's not in alcohol order, although there's not much in it. First one's 15%, second one's 14.5%. Um, but anyway, first one is Frares Priorat um, 2013, um, and this is uh, made for M&S uh, at uh, Priorat's oldest cooperative, so the Vinicola del Priorat. Uh, let's give it a whirl. There's a wild, spicy freshness about this. Um, and there's a little bit of smoky bacon there, um, but um, if it is smoky bacon, it's not from oak. Um, it, 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 it says it's uh, full-bodied, unoaked. Um, grapes here, Grenache and Carignan, or Mazuela, or uh, some so as it's suddenly, sometimes known in this part of the world. Uh, but there is this um, a sense of hillsides, warm, dusty, herby hillsides. Uh, and uh, fruit-wise, it's on that uh, plum and dark berry character, but not those dark berries that have gone so sweet that there's uh, there's not enough freshness in there to uh, uh, to perk them up. It's a big burly wine, uh, but then it's got a fresh edge. So you've got this almost like plum jam character that uh, that uh, damson jam rather than uh, rather than plum. That no plum, I'd say. Mm. Plum with a little plum and with a little bit of damsons in there. You know, uh, my mum used to make damson jam and used to leave the skins of the damsons in there, and I used to go to. Uh, uh. But now, when I have uh, uh, plum or damson jams, I, I like the skins in there because I like that little bit of bite. Um, herbiness. There is a sweetness and juiciness that uh, that that fills your fills your mouth, and um, uh, there's a warmth. Fifteen percent alcohol. But there's also this freshness, and I think that's uh, that's where the Carignan's talking. The, the Grenache is giving the body and the uh, uh, some of that herby allure, and the the, the, the uh, Carignan is acting uh, more of a backbone. It doesn't feel like the Carignan's been picked so late that it's gone too raisiny. Here, it feels warm and ripe rather than too raisiny, and uh, I think they've done a really nice job. Uh, next one. Uh, so this is um, 2011, so two years older. And this is for Sainsbury's, this is Sainsbury's uh, Taste the Difference Priorat, made by um, a, another another co-op. And uh, difference here, they've got the same two grapes in uh, Grenache and Mazuela, but here they've got Syrah in as well. So uh, let's see whether that makes a difference. And it, one of the things I noticed first of all is yes, it's two years older, so it's it's not quite as bright and fresh. Uh, but I was talking about ra a lack of raisiny character on the um, uh, on the Ferraris. Here, I, I do get some of that uh, slightly uh, overripe uh, berry character uh, and overripe, yeah, overripe fruit character, not just berries. So over, yeah, the the, the um, some of the figs, the raisins, more of the dried fruit out uh, end of the spectrum rather than the fresh fruit on the previous one. Still feels like it's going to be a big herby wine and um, still smells pretty good. Yeah, juicy herbs, a little bit of spice in there. It, uh, and um, there's this debate in Priorat at the moment. Priorat was a, a, vin, uh, a place that really reinvented itself in the, in the late 80s and went from being somewhere that uh, produced over-the-top, uh, oxidised, over-alcoholic wines to somewhere that was making some of uh, Spain's most interesting and finest wines. Uh, and the wines were based on old plantings of Grenache and Carignan, uh, with newer plantings of Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, and Merlot. And uh, what seems to be happening is that the, um, the, the people who are really uh, at the cutting edge, they're cutting down on their, the amount of Syrah, Carignan, uh, Syrah Cabernet and Merlot that they're using and reverting to what it was that, uh, uh, that the region has been growing for rather a long time, but maybe not making the most of. So uh, here... It may be that it's too warm for Syrah, and uh, so you're getting it. Maybe that it's the Syrah that's turning that little bit raisiny. Could be the Carignan that's turning that little bit raisiny. When I think of Corbier, um, one of the characteristics I, I see in Corbier, where there is a lot of Carignan, is that slight raisiny edge. So I'm going to have another sip of this. It's, it's strange. I should have done them the other way around. I, I usually taste wines uh, youngest to oldest, but here I find that that raisiny character. Uh, it's um, it feels like a slightly simpler wine than the Ferraris, 
um, it's pro- it's just as intense, but in term instead of having broader spectrum of flavours, it's maybe got one or two major flavour spikes. One of which is that raisiny character, but there's still freshness there, and I still wouldn't. Uh, uh, if you offered me a large plate of cassoulet, uh, I would still hoover up rather a lot of that. But um, the Frares is the one that, uh, for me, is uh, shining out today. See you soon.